Welcome to this session. I'm teacher Peter. I'm still taking you in science. So today in science, we are still looking at light energy. And under light energy, today I want us to look at reflection of light. Reflection of light. Let's start by spelling the word reflection. R-E-F-L-E-C-T-I-O-N. The word is reflection. R-E-F. L E C T I O N, the word is the reflection, and light is L I G H T, the word is light. Let's start with this question What is reflection? The answer is there. Reflection is the bouncing back of light rays as they hit a shiny surface. I know most of you have come into contact with this vocabulary bouncing. When you're even in your PE, you always sing, bounce the ball, bounce the ball, bounce the ball high. Yes, today we are looking at reflection, and we are saying reflection is the bouncing back of what? Of light rays as they hit a shiny surface. Let's look at this. We are seeing the light rays are coming to hit a shiny surface, which is the plane mirror, and they are bounced back all together yes this bouncing back is what we are referring to as reflection so let's assume there is a, a source of light right here it might be a candle it can be a bulb or a torch and when switched on it gives out a ray of light all together or a beam of light and what happens when the beams of light or the rays of light are moving out the ray of light that comes out of this source of light, which is right here, this ray of light is what we are referring to as the incident ray. All together, the incident ray. Let's spell the word incident. I-N-C-I-D-E-N-T. The word is incident. And the word ray is R-A-Y. So, incident ray. All together, it is the ray that is coming from the source of light. And then when it hits onto a plane mirror, it's reflected all together. And when it hits onto the plane mirror, a reflected ray is formed. Let's spell the word reflected. The word reflected is R-E-F-L-E-C-T-E-D. The word is reflected all together. So when an incident ray comes to hit onto the plane mirror, a reflected ray is formed. But let's look at this diagram more carefully. In the middle here, we are seeing a red line here. Yes, this red line is representing a normal ray. All together. So in between the incident ray and the reflected ray, we have got what we call a normal ray. All together. And when the incident ray meets with the normal ray, an angle is formed in between here. And what's the name of the angle? The name of the angle is the angle of incidence. The angle of incidence. Let's spell the word incident. I-N-C-I-D-E-N-C-E. -E. The word is incident. I-N-C-I-D-E-N-C-E. -E. The word is incidence. And when the normal ray meets with the reflected ray, an angle still is formed in between them. And which angle is that? It's the angle of reflection. Let's spell the word reflection. R-E-F-L-E-C-T-I-O-N. The word is reflection. Let's spell it once more. R-E-F-L-E-C-T-I-O-N. The word is reflection. So when the incident ray strikes a shiny surface, it's reflected, forming a reflected ray. All together, in between the normal ray and the reflected ray, we have an angle of reflection. And in between the incident ray and the normal ray, we have the angle of incidence. Let's continue. Let's look at the uses of reflection. Is reflection important to us? Yes, let's see how. 
The question says, write down any two uses of reflection. The first answer is there. It's saying, reflection helps us see things in the environment. Reflection helps us see things in the environment. I told you that we cannot see things in our, in our environment except when they reflect light to our eyes. And that also explains why you can't see somebody who is hiding in a corner. The reason as why you can't see somebody hiding in a corner is because light rays cannot be reflected to your eyes from that person. Are we together? So that's why you can't see even things that are hidden in a corner. Why? Because light rays cannot strike onto those objects and then reflect it to your eyes. That's why you can't see those objects. Are we together? Let's go on. Then we are also able to see ourselves in mirrors because of reflection. So if there was no reflection, we would not be able to see ourselves in mirrors. How are we able to see? How are we able to see? This is how we are able to see. We are able to see when rays of light hit surfaces of objects, then reflected into our eyes. That is how we are able to see things in our environment. Let's look at the types of reflection. The first one is the regular reflection. The second one is the irregular reflection. Let's start with the regular reflection. Yes, what is regular reflection? The answer is there. This is the type of reflection where the beam is sent back in a definite direction, like you can see in that diagram right there. We have got what we call regular reflection. That diagram is illustrating regular reflection. When you look at this surface here, where the cursor is pointing, are we together? Yes, this surface is a smooth surface. Are we together? It is a smooth surface. That's why when this light rays or when this beam comes to hit onto this smooth surface, it is reflected back in a definite direction. Let's go to the next. We can also define regular reflection as the type of reflection on a smooth, shiny surface. Not this. We are able to see clear images in plain mirrors because they are polished and give regular reflection. Just like you can see in that picture there. I have a picture of a pot. Are we together? Yes. And it has formed an image in the mirror. A clear image. Why? Because the surface of this mirror is polished. That's why you can see a clear image. If this surface of this mirror wasn't polished, then you would not be able to see a clear image like this one here. Are we together? And not only plain mirrors can give clear images. Even you have ever seen clear images, maybe on polished metals, polished tiles. Have you ever been into a house? which has got polished tiles, and you can even see yourself through those tiles. The reason as why you can see yourself through those tiles is because those tiles are polished. Are we together? And if you're in a house where you can't see yourself through those tiles, it's just simple. The tiles are not polished. They can be smooth, but not polished. There is a difference between smoothness and being polished. Are we together? So a plain mirror is polished. That's why we can see clear images in plain mirrors. And that's why you even use them at home. Let's look at the irregular reflection or the type of reflection we call the diffuse reflection. What is irregular reflection? The answer is there. Irregular reflection is reflection on rough, shiny surfaces. Irregular reflection is reflection on rough, shiny surfaces. There is the picture to help you understand what we are meaning by irregular reflection. So in irregular reflection, you look at the surface here. It is a rough surface. It is not a smooth surface. It is a rough surface because of these bendings here in it. Are we together? 
So when light rays from a certain source here come and hit onto this rough surface, they are reflected in a disorganized manner, like you can see. They are bounced off in a disorganized manner, like you can see here. The light rays which are reflected off are scattered out together. That's why this type of reflection is referred to as an irregular reflection or a diffuse reflection out together. So, in diffuse reflection, this is the incident ray and this is the reflected ray. Let's continue. We can also define the diffuse or the irregular reflection as the type of reflection where the rays or the beams are scattered and thrown back in all direction. This is the type of reflection where the rays or the beams are scattered and thrown back in all direction. Let's note this. Rough surfaces give irregular or diffuse reflection. That is true. Rough surfaces give irregular or diffuse reflection. It is called irregular reflection because the light rays which are bounced are scattered in different directions. We are unable to see clear images on walls, iron sheets, muddy or disturbed water, mirrors, and other and other through and other rough surfaces because they give irregular or diffuse reflection. Are we together? We are unable to see clear images on walls. So inside your house, if your wall was polished, then there would be no use of you buying a plain mirror because the wall is already polished. But since the walls are just smooth and are not polished, we cannot see clear images of ourselves. Are we together? That's why we buy plain mirrors which are polished. Why? Because plain mirrors give off clear images. Are we together? Muddy water or disturbed water can also not give off a clear image. Why? Because it is muddy, it is disturbed water. Are we together? Then there, there are also other rough, rough surfaces which give off irregular or diffuse reflection. Are we together? Let's go on and look at this picture here. This is a diffused picture. This is a picture which has been formed due to diffuse reflection. And you see it is not clear. Is this image clear? It's not clear. Are we together? So, when diffusion takes place in reflection, it forms such images. Let's go on. What is reflection? That's our first question. I've set for you 10 questions out together to guide you through this lesson. So get your book and your pen, write down these questions and check yourself and see what you've learned from this. What is reflection? The answer is already here. Write down any two uses of reflection. The answers are already there. How are we able to see objects? The answers are there. Write down the two types of reflection. Answers are already mentioned. Define the following. Regular reflection, irregular reflection. Then, number six, in the space below, draw illustrations to show regular reflection and irregular reflection. Then, why are we able to see clear images on plain mirrors? Number eight, what type of reflection is shown in picture A? In picture A, what type of reflection is that? In picture B, what type of reflection is that? Number eight, why do light rays in irregular reflection scatter in different directions? Mm -hmm. Think, why do light rays in irregular reflection scatter in different directions? Then number 10 says, what happens when light rays hit a smooth surface? What happens when light rays hit a smooth surface? And finally, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Please subscribe to this channel for you to be able to get lessons, uh, to get notifications for the lessons we posted on this channel. Please subscribe. It's free. It's free of charge. 
just subscribe and you will always get notifications that we have posted another new video. Let's meet once again in our next lesson. Don't forget to hit that subscription button. Nice time. God bless you.